We're going to focus on a small tune here that's a really very, very nice uh, tune. Really suitable for, I would say, for a young person because it's, it's a short tune. But uh, while it's a short tune, it has variety within the tune that's very nice. There's no embellishments in the ground to, to, that uh, need to be really practiced much. We do have the three note cadence here, and I spoke about that, uh, the timing of the cadence, and I will again, and I'll demonstrate that to you. Uh, the first variation in here, is a, it's a different type of what we've done in the other variations. So it, it has a a sixteenth note to a dotted uh, eighth. Shanta, 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 shove, shove. It's a really nice variation. It adds a little bit of variety to the tune. Then we have a, a tripling, G, D, and E, grace note variation, uh, which is again a short one. And I should mention that the last, if you're dealing with the Pebro Society uh, copy of this music, which is just one of the few books it's in, the last note in the variation uh, should be an E, not a C, as in the, the printed music here. Then it's followed with a, a false guilty croonler, which is quite a short variation to. Uh, which we covered in uh, one of the other tunes that we did, uh, the Wee Spree, very similar to that, but it's a, it's a much shorter variation. So I'll play over the Monroe's Salute uh, to give you an idea of how this tune should be portrayed. Now, pay attention to the way I time the three-note cadence in here because the, the mistake that uh, most of the beginning people make when they're playing three-note cadences is they cut the, the first E grace note in the cadence, which is a, certainly it's a 32 note, uh, the, the grace note, and then there's a short, there's a longer eighth note in the middle of the symbol, but it has no value really on paper. But in actual fact, when we play the music, it, it has the value of a black note. So, I'll play over this tune to let you hear it. That's what I'm talking about there, don't play. That's a very common thing with beginning people in Pibroch is to cut the E in the three note cadence. Treat it as a black note.
So we come to the, the first guilty crown law. Now it's the pr same principle as uh, in uh, the little spree that we're going to play the dream movement again, always sounding uh, E first when you play that there. So, so be sure to uh, 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 approach your first guilty crew in that way. And you could finish the tune on that point there. If you're playing a, a, a full B rock as we're doing, you always go back and introduce uh, the, the theme or the ground of a tune. And you should always uh, endeavour to finish your tune uh, on a low A, never on a B or an F or a high A, uh, as in this particular tune here. So always just come down and come to a part on the tune where you can uh, nicely finish on a low A. Now I'm, go I'm going to play the, the Kroonla variation uh, up to speed to let you hear what it would sound like. And this is really what you have to strive to try and achieve. 